Ukraine has some pleasant surprises in store for Putin on the battlefield, U.S. State Department. Ukraine has a plan that they can execute to achieve victories on the battlefield and surprises are still awaiting the Russians, U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller told. The comments come after Under Secretary of State Victoria Nuland said in January that Putin is going to get some nice surprises on the battlefield. Miller cited Ukraine's recent sinking of Russian Black Sea Fleet ships as an example of these surprises. We believe that Ukraine has a plan that they can execute to achieve victories on the battlefield, she said. We've seen them having victories on the battlefield, most recently in the Black Sea where they sunk another Russian ship. So, we do believe that they have some surprises in store. We look forward to seeing the results. Russia lost another major ship in the Black Sea after the 65 million US dollar Sergei Kotov patrol ship was hit and sunk by Ukrainian Magura V-5 drones. Earlier, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that there are more surprises coming for Russia's military assets in the Black Sea. The Ukrainian leader said that among Kyiv's goals for 2024 was to continue our successful story on the Black Sea. And we will do it, Zelensky said. I will not go deeply into details, but they will get some surprises. That's very important. Ukraine ramped up its attacks on Russia's infrastructure stationed in the Crimean Peninsula in recent months which served as a launching pad for Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Kiev has particularly homed in on Russian President Vladimir Putin's Black Sea Fleet, claiming that its forces have disabled about a third of the Kremlin's naval warships since the start of the battle. Finland allows Ukraine to attack targets in Russia with Finnish weapons. Ukraine can use the weapons transferred by Finland to attack targets on the territory of the Russian Federation. The Finnish side has not imposed any restrictions on the arms assistance provided to Kyiv. The corresponding statement was made by the head of the Finnish Defense Ministry, Antti Hakanen Yeli, informs. According to the minister, the restrictions on the use of their weapons were mainly imposed by those countries that supplied Kyiv with long-range weapons. The Finnish parliament's defense committee said that the Ukrainian army had the right to attack military facilities on Russian territory with the help of weapons supplied by Helsinki. In particular, this was said by the head of the committee, Juka Kopra. Deputy head of the committee, Mikko Savola, also noted that the weapons supplied by Finland can be used by the Ukrainian army for strikes against targets in the Russian Federation. At the same time, he adds that the range of the weapons supplied by Finland is not very long. In general, the Finnish authorities are in constant contact with their allies on the issue of restrictions on weapons transferred to Ukraine. Finnish President Soli Ninisto, who is leaving office, has promised that his country will continue to increase military aid to Kyiv. Ninisto said Finland has provided Ukraine with 22 aid packages and will not limit itself to this. We are increasing aid, primarily, of course, military aid. This especially concerns ammunition and air defense assets. Everyone agreed that we need to act as we did at the beginning of 2022 when decisions were made in a timely manner and very quickly, Ninisto stated. U.S. border a bigger priority than Ukraine. Republican leader, Congress will not pass a new aid package for Ukraine without reforms to U.S. immigration policy, House Speaker Mike Johnson has said, arguing that America's own security takes priority over Kiev's conflict with Russia. Speaking after a contentious meeting with President Joe Biden and congressional leaders, Johnson insisted that House Republicans would not budge on the foreign aid if Democrats did not compromise on the border. GOP lawmakers are actively pursuing and investigating all the various options for the Ukraine legislation, but the first priority of the country is our border and making sure it's secure, Johnson told reporters. The Republican speaker has faced increased pressure from congressional Democrats, the White House and even fellow GOP members in the Senate over the aid bill, with President Joe Biden warning that the consequences of inaction every day in Ukraine are dire. Ahead of his meeting with Johnson, Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who attended the sit-down with Biden, also said he urged Johnson to get it done and do the right thing, adding that history is looking over your shoulder. He described the discussion around the Ukraine bill as intense, stating 
everyone in that room was telling Speaker Johnson how vital the military assistance was. While the Senate previously passed a $95 billion aid package, including $60 billion for Kiev in addition to funding for Israel and Taiwan, House Republicans have refused to back companion legislation unless it includes significant reforms at the U.S.-Mexico border. 